Shoestring here. I received a question from a viewer who said they were on a very tight budget and wanted to have a light and at least a fan in a child's room overnight, regardless if, this, if a storm or something else had knocked the grid out. The question grabbed my interest, so I thought I'd try it out. Now, I have ways of using coupons and refurbished equipment, so I decided not to do those. What I was going to do is just see how affordable I could make this. And this white here is what I found. I went to Amazon and I bought an AGM battery, 18 amp hours, and I bought this 200 watt inverter. I selected the AGM battery because this needs to be indoors because it's in someone's room. And this is not something that's going to be used every night, just when you need it to. I selected the inverter because after checking out how many watts each of these use, 200 watts is more than enough for what we'll need. So, let me walk you through the steps of how I did this. We're now doing the unboxing of this box I just got from Amazon. Remember, we are getting the most inexpensive battery for our purposes. So let's see what we have in the box. This is a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. Should be perfect for our needs. If I don't drop it and break it. Open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Open. There it is. Okay. So we are getting this type of battery because one is the most inexpensive type we can get that can be used indoors, because remember, this is going to be used upstairs in a child's bedroom for when the power goes out. So that's the battery right there. It's sealed, lead acid. It is not, of course, a lithium. And then the other part of what we wanted to get, this should be, and it says so, power inverter. Let's open it up. See what we have. Also, the most inexpensive I could get. And remember now, when I say inexpensive I could get, I'm not doing coupons. I am not doing refurbished. Most of my little tricks that I'm doing, we're not going to do. This is a little 200 watt inverter. Couple of fuses with it. Let's see. It has place for receptacles, off and on switch, USB, and of course some place to hook up your little alligator clips. We'll continue to go through the box and we have the alligator clips in here that we're going to use upstairs. And of course if you wanted to use this in a car, you have a little cigarette lighter adapter right there. But for our purposes, we're going to be using these little alligator clips for the little inverter. All right. What is this? NDDI, little inexpensive one. And these will all work together to, as I said, have a light on when it's thundering and lightning out and your power goes out in a child's or other person's room that gets frightened. So we have those from the box, and of course, we have some instructions, which I may read through, and I may not. Okay, now that we've unboxed our little battery here, what we're going to do next, as always, is charge it up, because we want to make sure these are fully charged. Remember, this is an AGM 12 volt, 18 amp hour. AGM, different than the flooded ass batteries can be put on a shelf and stored for a while, but it should always be charged up. To do that today, we're going to use the battery charger as opposed to solar. Most battery chargers will have some type of switch that will say if it's a regular flood acid or if it's an AGM. This is AGM, so we want to make sure it says AGM. Okay, so we're going to take it and we're going to connect the negative, of course. And we're going to connect the positive. And as you can see, the light turned red. 
it's on trickle charge, which is what we want. That will fill it all the way up. And after it gets entirely charged up and the light turns green, we'll come back out here and go to the next step, which will be to take the inverter and test it and make sure it works. Okay, back in a few moments. All right, so we are back with the battery. As you can see, the light has turned green, which means our AGM battery is now totally charged. We can disconnect it. By the way, this battery charger has a safety on it. So even if you left it overnight, it isn't going to destroy the battery. It will just stop charging once it turns green. Important thing to know, you don't have to watch it all the time. We'll take our multimeter now and we'll double check. Let's see, check the charge here. And it is 13.46. So it is fully charged. What we're going to do now is check and make sure the inverter works. So we're going to undo the clips that came with it. Take our inverter, unscrew these. black onto the black and the red onto the red. Okay, all nice and tight. And we will take it, connect it to our battery red, then the black. Now the test. We take the on switch and hit as come on. The little light, as you can see, is now green. So the inverter does come on. You can feel a little bit of air coming out the back. But other than that, it's pretty quiet. All right, now we'll turn it off, disconnect it, and our next step will, of course, be to take these upstairs to the room that we want to have the light and the fan on. So I'll meet you all up there. Up here in the bedroom. Remember, the object of this is to see if we can have a light and a fan when the power is out, off-grid situation, and just how inexpensive this can be. All the, everything that we've bought here, the inverter, the battery, was all right around $60. I would do it a little differently if this was going to be a long-term situation, but what we're talking about here is temporarily when the power goes out in an off-grid situation and you need to have some lights or a fan in a room. So we're going to connect the battery, black to black, red to red. Okay. And then we turn the inverter on, just like we did before. Light comes on green and little air coming out the back. So it's working quite well. Let's start with our light. I already did a video that showed you how to use a kilowatt to determine what size inverter. I'll put a link to that at the bottom. So you can look at it yourself, but I already know from checking the wattage, the 200 will be enough for this one. So I plug it in and there is the light. So you have a light working, small AGM battery, 12 volt, 18 amp hours. Now we're gonna do the fan. And hopefully you can see in here, the fan has come on. I know there's a lot of people that say you have to buy the most expensive. Well, you don't. A lot of folks don't have that kind of money. That's why Shoestring is here, to show you things I've done in the past that I know for a fact will work. If you have just this light and that fan on low, 
This 18 amp hour battery will run this for the entire night. And then in the morning, you just take it apart and recharge this any way you want to recharge it. With a battery charger or with solar. Or whatever other system you plan on using. So, inexpensively, you put a light on in the little girl's room. Or little boys, you have a fan on them so they don't get hot. And even without power and the thundering and lightning, they go through the evening with no trouble. Okay, if you like this kind of video and you like learning how to do these type of things with me, please subscribe and share Shoestring Out.